I've always wondered, what is the largest possible army? What is the highest amount of recruitable manpower? Could I field an army that consists of practically the whole population of the world? I lied. I've never really considered that. That's the thought that just entered my head right now. But let's give it a go. Anarchist Spain? What? He's returning to that? That's right. You can call the world. So what if I called China and had more manpower that can I can actually use? What's the highest amount of recruitable manpower by coring the entire planet? I know I'm going to regret this achievement. Uh, let's go. So, the anarchists here and here. Regretfully, because they have a penalty to uh, construction. But we're going to be bases, so we have no choice. Next up, machine parts. That's nice. Construction. That's nice. And also, learning about electronics. It's the start of a standard Hoi 4 game, guys. Just get used to it. Now, the question is now, do we want to be great or do we want to be popular? Can we be great and popular? That's right, we can. And that is with the Regional Defense Council of Aragon. Our country is going to change names several times in this video. Regular old Spain? I think not. We're going to become popular and we're going to become global Spain. It's kind of the idea, though. And first things first, uh, we don't need guns. One of those. One of those. No. And there we go. Uh, train the boys. Eh. Probably should, because otherwise we're going to get stomped by the army of Africa. So exercise the boys. Get into position. Job is a good one. Up we go. The election. Uh, the beginning of the end, basically. Uh, so my advice is press all the buttons to disable them. And then the minute you get the option to click one of these buttons. Well, you better click one of those buttons, don't you? Oh. Concessions to the left. Again. You've seen this a million times before. Just work your way all the way to the bottom to disband the army. You get the most of the divisions. Therefore, you have an advantage when you become the Republicans. Then you can defeat the Nationalists. Then you can become anarchist and yeah, press the buttons. Press the buttons. The Spanish Civil War is about pressing the buttons. See this? We can't concession to the left anymore. So we imprison the bros. More concessions. More select focus. And then when you've got political power, go for this state here. That way you can make a really long front line. More concessions. More select national focus. More contest regions. You get the idea. You just fastest finger first. Press the buttons. The cash. Now distribute the arms. And disband the army. Okay, this focus will fire the civil war. So no, don't select any more decisions. Make sure you control the north. So you've got one consecutive really long front line. Perfect. War. Here we go. With neither side appearing inclined to compromise, the path lies wide open for the current situation to escalate into a nationwide civil war, which, through communal revolutionary struggle, we will win. Boom. Alrighty then. Didn't quite got a plan here because there's some uh, there's some gaps here. So we're gonna have to close that gap. If we can't close it, it is what it is. We'll try our best. Okay. No, we don't want to focus on industry. Go for everything that gives soft attack. So soft attack, soft attack and we'll stick with the industrial stuff okay advisable do not select anything that spends your political power so when you form the anarchist you lose them all anyway so it's pointless so just sit on that political power just do focuses what war support that'll be useful arm the people wait a minute have we already armed the people more arms for the people all right when you meet your front lines get them on position control b and railroad them to the front line forward brothers oh, there's a little gap in the front line here this is very tempting for me can we just shimmy forward here can we just move a little bit forward if it oh this is oh, beautiful a beautifully formed front line well a, a beautiful is a bit of a stretch actually it's just one single long front line which is just so much more easier to manage well at this point you just need to play the waiting game get everyone on the front line dig in deep and just hold 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 oh what do you seem to be doing here sir you're leaving yourself to be encircled oh dear what a terrible shame okay we're gonna do a little bit of a crappy maneuver here we're gonna pull out of the northwest come on guys out the northwest there we go and then make a front line just holding this point and if we control this point that means the carlists are rising and that means we've got a narrow front line therefore it's easy for us to defend and for the most part this is going swimmingly well hold 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 i'm the people means of production maximum concessions international brigade seize the gold reserves master of our own fate causing another civil war in civil war inside of the civil war i told you this the spanish civil war is like an onion there's like so many layers you know boom a government crackdown our revolution will not be easily exhausted. I'm not gonna lie, this is the part that gets kind of tricky because you're in kind of a bit of an awkward spot here. Oh, there's two divisions here. We'll get, we'll move all these boys to the front line. Split the two. Oh, I've got so many good people here. An infantry leader, yes. Oh, and she's adaptable. She's really good too. Broken, I love it. And then we make a big front line here. 
Get in position. Off you go. Who are we at war with? Everyone. And now you can hire the most broken boils of the lot. Infantry genius? Yep, I don't mind if I do. Army offense? That's right. Straight on the attack immediately. And straight away, we can go for all the juicy bonuses. <sighs> They're all good. Just public transport. Yay. Okay, so the skill to this one is to look for the divisions that are the special divisions. So these are the ones with the gray training button. These are special divisions, so you can't change these ones. So you need to look for the ones that are divisions that you can modify. And I actually don't think at this moment we actually have any divisions that can be modified. No, not an actual single one. Damn. So what we're going to do is exchange this for this guy. Then we'll add one of those on. Then we'll add one of those on. We'll add this on. And then we'll train a bunch of you guys. How many can we train? About eight. Oh, that sounds decent to me. Train them out, spit them out. Because now we've got loads of artillery. We can now make artillery-based divisions that are going to hit a lot, 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 lot harder. And that was the plan all along. Boom! We got Carlos now as well. Now, this is perfect because that means the strongest faction, the Nationalists, have been divided into two. So now we're in a really good spot to make a push. And my advice is to attack, push forward, and go for all the empty slots. That means it's going to give you some early factories and some more offensive capabilities. Now, you have to press these buttons as well. I forgot about this. Okay. Offensive orders everywhere. Where, I guess. Usually I just let the AI do that, but not today. Whoosh! Uh, don't you just love the anarchist society, which is totally mobilized? Do you think that would centralize the government, right? No, we're anarchists, okay? No central government, every man, individual, and free. Wait, there's no elections. Free, yeah, free. I say what is free. So the reason why we didn't make any guns is that once you've completed this focus here, foreign arm purchases, you can just spend 25 political power and it just gives you free guns. So uh, take advantage of that. Free guns. Can't complain about that, right? Oosh. Oh, wow. There seems to be gaps down here. I'll be taking advantage of that. Thank you very much. Oh, who has the lion's share now, boys? Huh? Okay. Front line. Hold and attack. Aggressive. Control B to railroad to the front line. Oosh. Are we winning because we have better divisions? Maybe. Are we winning because the AI is confused? <laughs> Maybe. I'll take it back. We're winning because the AI is getting confused. Multiple front lines. The AI does not do a very good job with that. Well, we never don't have an artillery problem. We've got a bit of a gun problem, but artillery is doing just fine. So in that case, why not make this a little bit bigger? Collectivized society. All must bear the torch. Every person is a revolution upon itself. If it's not for the bravery and ferocity of the individual, the collective would fall into the face of its enemies. In holding high the torch of anarchism. Normally at this point, we say goodbye to stability, but we're already 0%. Oh well. Oh, what do we have here? Mr. Mussolini, you seem to be trapped. And another one. Oh, no, no. No bueno. <laughs> Me gusta. Okay, ready for another wave? Let's go for the south now. Carlos, down. Just the nationalists now. Okay, at this point, you want to make a big push. Really big push. Front lines are confused. The AI is confused. And plus, now you've got one enemy. At this point, the nationalists could turn on you. But in this case, just keep going, boys. Keep pushing. The goal is the coast. Push. So usually it's about pushing, push, 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 end them. You can kind of wait now because remember, you got the ability to purchase guns whilst you're in the Civil War. So in this case, just sit on the Civil War just for a little bit longer and purchase more free guns. <laughs> Abuse the game mechanics. More, more. Oh, yeah, even more. Oh, oh boy. More guns, yes, yes, yes. Portuguese anarchism. Oh, yeah. Join the war, buddies. An extra push. Well, that's the end of uh, the war. But now there's another war, and that's Portuguese. Be very careful how you time the war against Portugal because you lose all your divisions when the Spanish Civil War ends. So just be aware of that. Also, that peace conference against Portugal, just be very careful. Take the Navy. We don't need to take the rest because the rest of it will get annexed like this. Nice. All right. We have a world war. Nice. Oh, a claim on Gibraltar. <laughs> how convenient. Also, Grand Battle Plan. And also, tip of the spear. Oh, wow. I can assign more divisions to this front line now. Off you go. And the justification on the UK is permanent, meaning we can time this perfectly and attack just when we want to. Oh, where where does this go? Oh. 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 <laughs> The Regional Defense Council of Iberia. Do this one as soon as you can. After you take in Portugal, it caused the entirety of Portugal. It's easier to call Portugal than it is to call your own lands. Uh, it doesn't make sense, but there we go. Navy in position. Activate the battle plan. UK, have fun. Say hello to anarchism. This is the only opportunity you're going to get, by the way. Uh, you've got like a tiny window when you declare war to land into Cardiff. So take it. It's here. This is your only opportunity. And here we are. Hi, how's it going? And of course, here. Oh, an encirclement possibility. Yes. 
<laughs> you know this old trick, right? You know this one? Well, you do now. Oosh. Oh, is London an open goal? Eh, practically. Little resistance. Oh, no, no, the holding back. The fight, the fighting back. Okay, let's get rid of this disbanded army. It's just, it's just hurting us. Navy, completely battered, practically destroyed. However, the push into the UK is going swimmingly. I love it. And also here, I like this too. Got him. Okay, this is an exploit from a very, very long time ago. I'm going to see if I can recreate it. What you have to do is encircle London, but don't take it. This is perfect. Cancel the battle plans, railroad on everyone to the front line, and then let's see if we can do this glitch again. So the problem right now is that the Germans have full contribution to the war because they've done practically everything. So if you have no contribution, so when the peace conference fires, which you will very, very shortly, you'll get nothing. That's really bad for you. So what you need to do is try and abuse the system, and you do that by encircling London and making encirclements over and over and over again. Okay, I'll have to pot open here to let them crawl back in, and I push them back to London. Now now we make the encirclement. Now we have a little cheeky look at my contribution. So it's 22% at the moment. If I make these encirclements here, it's 24%. It's working. Oh, it still works. Okay, this is kind of a glitch in a way. It's, it, it thinks I'm making a bigger contribution to the war than I actually am because I'm doing encirclements on the victory point of London. It's really strange, but just rinse and repeat until 1941 before the Americans join and you'll have a nice chunk of contribution. A collectivized society. Oof, on the consumer goods and production and efficiency growth and research hang on a minute is this anarchy thing even worth it the plus 70 percent to factory output just mitigates the 50 percent to stability hang on a minute anarchism doesn't work a little bit of aa and a bit of armor classic meta okay i want to be real this is nowhere near as effective as it used to be it seems like they deploy significantly less divisions and the amount of contribution you get is significantly smaller as well so it looks to me like it has been patched but 30 percent contribution that's more than italy I think it's time to uh, peace out the Brits. Definitely made my mark. Okay, we can be strategic about this. And the strategic move is this. You thought the goal was to bring anarchism to Britain, Portugal? Oh, no, 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 no. The biggest evil in this world is capitalism. And this is the home of capitalism. And then the rest, we're going to puppet. Oh, I can't create puppets because I'm anarchy? No way. Okay, we'll do change government. Can we make Canada anarchist? This is going to be so funny if this works. This is going to be a boring, vanilla, anarchist Canada, right? Let's have a look. The Free Canadian Republic. It's non-aligned and guaranteed by the United States. Interesting flag choice. I think I've created a monarchist Canada puppet. Nice. Anyway, time for the big daddy now. Off you go, lads. <laughs> I created the Spanish Armada. Wait, hang on. The Spanish Armada? What happened to that? Oh, no. I think I've foreshadowed something. But Dave, what about the goal? One million manpower banked. And that is just Iberia. So volunteer only. One million manpower. Dave, you can help by expanding it. And I will. Anarchy knows no borders. 10% war support. Meh, who cares about that? Justification wartime minus 75%. <sighs> <laughs> the wonkiest thing about this is anarchists are anti-war. So th th this, this is really strange. But I guess is the only way anarchy can survive by spreading across the globe. I say the whole world must learn of our peaceful ways by force. Time to declare war in America. Oh, wait, hang on. Declare war in America? I justified on the Philippines. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. Off we go. You know what I say here, right? What's the magic word? What is it? That's right now. Push. And don't naval invade behind me. That's rude. Actually, a good naval invasion now, think about it, because it invades right behind me and takes my port and snips the railway line. This is pretty smart by the AI. It probably isn't deliberate. Well, the AI is uh, really on it today. Okay, we're going to have to bring the fleet over and project naval supremacy. Uh, project, project. Okay, and this will never happen again now because I have literally the biggest fleet in the world. Push! Oh, wait, I already said that. Uh, Go. Take away their freedom by invading them. To give them more freedom under anarchy. Definitely uh, the most historical game. Okay, the naval invasions have been sorted now. And I can proceed with attacking southwards. Ooh, the Council of Theorists. Now, normally this wouldn't be that good. However, it's giving you ticking XP for everything. So with the new version of 
Ahoy. Now, that's actually really good. Yeah, you guys want me to show micro? Here's micro. There you go. He's trying to encircle B. So I unencircle the unencirclement to unencircle them to reencircle. This is practically Ahoy 4. Can push here. And he just secure Boston. Oh, the supply here is pretty bad. I've just extended the size of my division. It's making it more difficult. Supply here is bad. The reason why it's bad is I don't have access to many ports. And I need to be pushing across the east coast. The siege of Boston. Can we break it? No, supply is too bad. One of the downsides of having the biggest fleet in the world is you have the biggest fleet in the world and you can't supply it with enough fuel to keep it going without crashing your own economy. Time for the big 40 with 44, to be precise. Oh dear, lack of guns. I'll take care of that, don't matter. Okay, it's time. The Global Defense Council. Our boroughs have expanded beyond the geography of the Iberian Peninsula. And the title we have given ourselves of a temporary defense council is no longer representative for all who are part of it. We were named our organization to something appropriate inclusive all peoples on this planet it will now be known as the global defense council boom no longer a flag of iberia we now have a flag of well the globe global defense council east coast broken americans on the retreat half a million manpower in the pool and an army size of just one million. Oh, we can do way better than that begin the coring of iberia you know one thing i wasn't prepared for is the amount of submarines that america has so having to do this is a massive pain because i'm having to import like the equivalent of 50 civilian factories worth of fuel and it is absolutely tanking my economy well good job i stole the navy from that peace conference otherwise this wouldn't have been possible boom America. okay i think the ai is glitched uh, they're not they're not getting anything in the peace conference oh they've only got 13 percent contribution that's why 89 percent you practically get all of the peace conference now we have a limited oil the iberian anarchist council of texan oil the most historical game japan you own the most populous cause in the entire world okay so you're next buddy and with a navy that's so unbelievably massive i don't even have to fight for naval supremacy off i go hey here we go from the south all the way to the north disgusting borders well for now current recruitable pop 3.1 million manpower more the first core over the atlantic integrate nova scotia commune 150 political power and a further 90 political power over 90 days the very first core the very first council of canada so you probably thought whoa dave you didn't take gibraltar that was very silly oh no that was all part of the plan take claim territory 10 days to justify it was all part of the plan gentlemen let's do this europe needs liberating and it's spain that's gonna do it a little bit of anarchy boys see mr hitler foolishly thought the home of the revolution was the soviet union oh no 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 the home was right on his front doorstep <laughs> Look at us tearing through their planes, too. To be honest with you, they're still flying back pretty heavily, too. But eventually, they'll run out of planes. It is what it is. You thought Belgium 1 was bad? Well, there's a Belgium 2 now. And it's German. Ugh. Never mind. False alarm. Uh, Belgium 2 is gone. Good riddance. Speed bump from the other side. Got some pretty gnarly losses here. Soviets losing 7.6 million in their war. Me losing almost 2 million. Hey, battle planning for the win. What can I say? Germans losing almost 10 million. Oh my goodness. Well, there's a pattern with leftism, right? Uh, the Chinese, the Soviet Union, and now anarchy is they have unlimited manpower. Maybe that's where fascism went wrong. Hmm. More you know, eh? You know, whether you're invading from the West or the South, the soft underbelly of Germany is always Italy every single time. <laughs> I love the Italian strategy here. Just lay mines right next to our coastline. So we're the only ones to hit the mines. Genius. <laughs> Yet again, I break through Italy. I break through the Alps effortlessly, but the West Wall and the Lowlands, impossible to break. I guess it's only the Germans who can steamroll the speed bumps. There are some things that are bad, like a full nation collapsing. And there are some things that are convenient. And that is also a full nation collapsing. Uh, now I don't have to split the war score with the uh, common turn. Perfect. Oh, long pause. Is this it? Have I... 
Look in the game. That, that. And Journey's gone. Oh my God, what a mess. Do you know what I've realized? I'm low on manpower here. And do you know what I could do to gain myself a load of manpower? Is if I went for mass assault with human wave. That'd be stupid not to, right? Oh, one away. Can we get human wave? Yes. I think it's kind of funny that we're in 1946 right now. We've just invented bombs. That's right. The technology is just called bombs. Ah, what an ancient relic technology. Dug up, analyze, and now part of the Iberian army and also machine guns. We invented machine guns, which makes no sense because we've got all the infantry techs. Okay, I'm getting a bit bored of this Balkan BS. Argentina's just declared war on me. Because I kid you not, they want the Falcons. <laughs> It's so stupid. Uh, the chaos has to end. The last major in this faction. Boom. Look at these, man. So many countries. Greater Albania. Amazing. Greater Hungary. Amazing. Greater Argentina. Joke. He didn't get the Falcons. Ha. Boom. There's so many states. Boom. There we go. Anarchist world conquest. Hey, kind of. Not really a full world conquest, but pretty close. If we want the civilian oversight, there we go. I love the name of Italy. Global Anarchist Italy. It's, it's funny because you can't actually create puppets. Not even in peace conferences and not even in here as Anarchist Spain. So the fact this exists is amazing. And it's just part of the Italy mechanics. Once again, nice. A maxed out cavalry division that has a maxed out MP. Does not give me extra compliance. Doesn't reduce resistance pay anymore but it reduces the amount of equipment i use significantly let's see how significantly a million less manpower used and about 150,000 less guns pays for itself i guess three and a half million manpower rubbish again the coring all right here we go six million 6.8 million we're gonna core a little bit of america as well there's some good population in the south 49.5 million manpower you know at this rate we might as well just go for the billion right how many millions are in a billion uh, gee this is fun just waiting for the political power to tick up uh... Almost 951, 101 million manpower. And let's look at the world. So I called most of America, uh, north part of Mexico, most of Western Europe and the UK, big chunk of Russia and Ukraine, few chunks of Turkey as well, a little bit of Egypt in the north, the entirety of India and Pakistan and Bangladesh and Burma and Indochina and China and Japan. And okay, I'm, uh, as you can probably hear in my voice, I'm dying inside because I'm just AFKing and saving political power and every bone in my body now says this challenge is done if you thought this was a worthy achievement hey a like and subscribe would be really kind of you but from that i'm gonna lie down uh... one video no two videos this is the video for you right here click it